Hey everybody, this is Will, and it's time for a new Will Wired Accessory Review. Today is a very special day for uh, amongst the Apple crew. This is the release day of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Now, I haven't done a video review in quite some time. Just to be honest with you, you know, cases kind of got kind of stagnant. They kind of do towards the end of a iDevice with an S at the end. Um, cases kind of get to be the same thing after a while. So once you start with the new iPhone model, everything is exciting and fun again. And towards the end of the second year of having kind of the same model, cases just kind of become the same. So I kind of took a break for a while and focus on other things. But I'm now back with an iPhone 6 case review. Now on the right hand side is yes indeed an iPhone 6 Plus. I got mine in about two hours ago and I've had the case on it since. I've got a nice, I got a Spigen uh, crystal clear screen protector and this is the Spigen Neo Hybrid in gunmetal and silver. On the right side is my 6 Plus. On the left side is the uh, regular 6. That way I can kind of show you this one without the phone in it. Uh, why do I have this one? My wife got the 6, I got the 6 Plus. So as you can see, this is the uh, silver one. You can see the sides. Um, it's got, this is the metalized buttons version. Uh, I did not, I really like this case for the first one, for the iPhone 5, 5S, but it had some problems. Mainly it drove me nuts for my OCD because this texture here was a soft matte finish and it took fingerprints and scuffs like crazy. Now I don't have the overhead light on because I didn't want to blow this video out and glare, but this actually has a very soft texture to it. So you're not going to see any of that sort of thing. Um, so I really like that. It has a nice subtle texture and you're not going to have any problems. Um, all the port covers, all the ports down here are nice and cut out. So it looks fantastic. Uh, like I said, buttons are there. They look great. They look sleek. Nice cut out for that. Cut out for the camera. This case is overall very well designed. I'm very happy with it. Uh, just on first impressions on the look. It's very thin and uh, inexpensive. So that's also awesome. It's got their patented air cushion thing, which really is just a design so they can figure out if it's authentic or not. So overall, I really enjoy this case. It's very nice looking. Um, let me move that to the side. I've got it installed here on my 6 Plus um, in the gunmetal. And I've been using it for the past two hours and I've had zero complaints aside from the power button. It's a little, it doesn't click real well, but it's a very minor complaint because it still pushes the button perfectly fine. You just have to push it a little bit harder. Otherwise the, um, sorry, this phone is so huge. I should have filmed this higher up. The uh, volume buttons do click, um, but they could use a little bit of improvement. Uh, that is a really deep groove for the, uh, the mute switch. So that's not a problem. I can fit there. I can get it with my nail. Um, here's the bottom here and it works great. Everything lines up and works fine. Lightning connector is no problem. I've used a couple third party ones and I've had no trouble whatsoever. Uh, as I also said, I've got the speaking crystal clear screen protector on here and it installed perfectly fine. No problems. I did the steamy shower uh, trick and it's on there nice and neat. Um, so overall, I really, really like this case. It does offer a little lay on table design. It, uh, you can still feel the awesomeness of the curved uh, glass here. It does have a little bit of the curve there before it hits the lip of this case. Let me turn this over. Um, <clears throat> and I like the tightness of the uh, camera cutout. It's nice and tight around that. I hate giant cutouts for the camera. It's really stupid. But this one is nice and tight and looks fantastic. And this one does have the texture. So it's going to add a nice grip to this big phone. Um, overall, I really, really like this case. I'm very surprised for it being kind of a, uh, a, you know, a first release case. Always those first release cases have trouble. And for a first release case, I really, really, really like this. Um, I'm going to give Apple an Apple case to try as well. I'm not fond of those because the bottom isn't covered or protected. Um, no big deal. I'm sure it'll be fine, but I prefer having nice cutouts on the bottom of my cases and a slim profile. And this provides all of that. So this is the gunmetal and moving that over. This is the silver. These are available now. They have a whole bunch of other colors, but they're not all available just yet. So I really want the white one for my uh, white uh, 6 Plus. So overall, this case is fantastic. I really like it, especially for a day one case. It's great. This is the Spigen Neo Hybrid for the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a good one.